I have never met a cream bun I don't like, but I have to say, I have a special fondness for Maritozzi. They are a traditional Roman Easter offering. So, teeny bit of flour, whole sachet of yeast, and warm milk. This is just a way of really adding a bit of oomph to the main part of the dough when you make it later. Then I'll cover it with a shower cap and I'm gonna leave it here for about 20 minutes. It'll look a bit like puffy porridge by that time and then I'm ready to use it in what will be the main dough. This little bowl can sit patiently under its shower cap and I'm gonna get onto the big bowl. I've got bread flour in here and I will add sugar and just a little bit of salt. I want some lemon zest and orange zest. Now, I have to see that the sponge is ready to be added to that rather beautiful bowl. There it is, look at it, gorgeous. Oh my goodness me, look. An egg, a bit of olive oil. Right, I'm gonna put this in, we'll stir it together. It's always better, I think, to use your hands a bit. I'm gonna leave this here covered for 10 minutes and then at 10 minute intervals, I'm going to knead this by hand only for 10 seconds. So the third and final kneading sesh. Oh yeah, you can see this has changed quite a bit now. Hat back on. We're more or less there. The glaze is a simple affair. I'm using two tablespoons of caster sugar, two tablespoons of water. What I need to do now is, well, the odd swirl and wait for it to come to a bubble. And now it's bubbling. I'm just gonna give it about 20 to 30 seconds. Further bubbling, turn off, wait for the buns to come out of the oven. Now, this should be just about right, and you can see it is. Look at it. I mean, it, it's almost a pity to rupture the calm and to get the air out, but yet I must, and it's also deeply pleasurable. I'm going to punch in gently. Simple pleasures. I'm going to divide this into eight. It makes eight buns. So I do it like a round in my hand. These just need to go in a warmish place or just out of a draft so they can rise. I mean, you can leave them wherever you want. It's a bit quicker if they're warmer. Are you ready? Oh, look at them, these plumptious beauties. Okay, into the oven with you. So just as soon as these beautiful, almost bronze buns out of the oven, I paint with a glaze. I love the element of play in this sort of cooking. I did start off whisking this cream, but I now want to finish it just to make it thick and airy. But still with a teeny bit of softness about it. And it is just double cream with the teeniest bit of icing sugar. Don't want these too sweet. Mmm, that looks luscious. I'm going to cut into these, not to the very bottom. Like little birds with open beaks. These make me so happy, and I'm glad to say that they do seem to make other people who eat them very happy too. I mean, you saw how easy they were to make, and you can find the recipe exclusively on Ocado.com. So, happy Easter.